Thank you. Um, Secretary Donovan, um, I think we all agree that uh, the GSEs will continue to hemorrhage uh, losses as the government uh, uses uh, uh, them to support uh, expensive foreclosure mitigation programs and advance other Obama administration housing priorities. Um, I think you're aware that Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke uh, has urged immediate attention to resolve the GSE's future. Uh, do you agree that uh, uh, there needs to be immediate action? Uh, I noticed that Secretary Geithner told the Budget Committee recently that the administration is not prepared to address the GSE's long-term future, uh, even though Chairman Bernanke told our committee that he believes a plan for reform should come as soon as possible by saying the sooner you get some clarity about where the ultimate objective is, the better. Uh, would you like to comment on his statement? I, what I would say is two things. First of all, um, if you look in detail at the way uh, the GSEs are implementing their loan modification programs or other efforts, um, it very carefully looks through uh, the use of net present value tests uh, and other tools at modifying or uh, reducing principal on loans where that will have a net present value positive to the GSE. So I, I believe strongly, and I think if you look at the details of it, that the actions that they're taking on modifying mortgages are not only good for homeowners, that they are good for the GSEs and for the taxpayer as do you, well. Do you think we need a... a a reform proposal for the D GSEs as soon as possible? I would say that we need a reform proposal for the GSEs as soon as is possible, given the need to maintain the stability of the current market. As when do you I said think just we'll a moment that? ago. You know, right now we, we just seem to be, uh, y'all, so, the so called plan that was released just today, it just asks, uh, asks questions. I guess you're hoping that somebody else will. I'll give you the answer, but uh... I, I laid out in my testimony, uh, Congressman, uh, four goals for the housing finance system, uh, nine different principles that we see as critical. Uh, you talked about principles in your opening statement. We laid out nine principles in my testimony that we think are important for the system, and we believe that the public should have the ability to have input and to learn to benefit from their knowledge about uh, this system. Yeah. We cannot move right. hastily on an issue as complex as this well, and as important as this to the housing market and yes. risk a downturn that, I, as I said a moment ago, would, could end up costing the taxpayer uh, millions of additional dollars sure. if well, we let me take ask you a, this, a, a Secretary, wrong step. And I don't mean to interrupt you, but, you know, it's been 18 months uh, since uh, the Obama administration took over. It, uh, and... You know, you could these questions could have been asked 18 months ago. Why, why did it take 18 months to come up with a group of questions? You look at these questions. One of them just says, uh, "Does housing finance systems in other country off, uh, do, do housing finance systems in other countries offer insights that can help inform U.S. reform choices?" I mean, couldn't we have answered that 18 months ago with just a probably or possibly? Congressman, we believe. It is time to engage in a full and thoughtful dialogue leading to uh, likely well, a legislative proposal uh, that would get moved through Congress well, next we've had, year. We've had we, our let me, if I could finish answering sure. the question, please. We believe that, and we have been completely focused on healing this housing finance uh, system and the housing market and the economy more broadly. We've made substantial progress on that, and we feel strongly that had we embarked on this process a year ago, we would have uh, put that recovery at significant risk. And so we believe this is the responsible way to engage in a process on a timeline that's responsible in terms of making sure that American homeowners and the taxpayer uh, are not put at further risk. Well, let me ask you, you know, it's time for action. I mean, the time for questions and dialogue, and we've been doing this for 18 months. The Republican plan has been out there for uh, 18 months. We've made our proposals, uh, and I, and here today you just ask some more questions. Uh, I, 
don't you agree that the time for uh, just asking questions is over and the time, you know, the public's had input for 18 months. You could have, uh, you could have asked them those questions. And I'm not criticizing you personally, uh, but uh, uh, let me just say, when can we expect legislation? I'll just, I'll just, that'll be my last question. Um, as Secretary Geithner said in his testimony, our expectation, uh, particularly given the full legislative calendar that you have, is that we would uh, have uh, full discussion with the public, with uh, the committee, uh, with the Senate as well, and that we would move to uh, legislation in the following year that would reform the, the GSTs. The following but, year? But let, I think I would certainly expect it will be difficult to move legislation and complete that legislation this year. And we believe, again, that the housing market at this point is fragile enough um, that we need to, and let me just be clear. We have taken substantial actions on the housing market. Uh, just as an example, as you know, uh, and I very much appreciate the work, constructive work that you've done with us around FHA to improve uh, the underwriting there. We've taken extensive actions. Uh, we have, uh, on a number of different fronts, whether it's uh, ensuring low interest rates, ensuring continued availability of mortgage capital, uh, keeping homeowners in their homes, helping communities hurt by this housing crisis. We've taken extensive actions on the housing crisis and on the housing finance system. We simply don't feel that moving um, in a way that could hurt this housing market further uh, is responsible at this point. Thank you. Thank you.